Okay, so I believe the alternator is dead on the Mark IV and how, why I think this is the battery lights come on on the dash so I'm going to test the battery using a multimeter I've got my ground connected down here positive on there and on the multimeter it's showing at 12.1 and a healthy battery uh, should be around about 12.6 so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the engine and that should go up to about 14 volts if it doesn't then I suspect the alternator is at fault and we'll need replacing so let's start the car and see what happens. Okay, so this showed 12.1 a second ago, so if the alternator is good, it should show up around 14, maybe a bit more. It's actually dropped in voltage, so to me that tells me the alternator is potentially gone, so I'm going to replace it. So let's get this job done, let's get the car in the air and get the alternator out from underneath. Okay, so what I've done is I've removed the headlight to give me better access to the decoupler bolt at the top. And come around in, I've also removed all the inner wing here so I can get to the bottom bolt which is under here and the tensioner pulley which is here. So this will make sense in a minute. First thing you've got to do though when you're replacing the alternator down there is disconnect the positive terminal on the battery. Last thing you want to do is short anything out. Okay, and now this 13 mil here is your positive. From it goes from here to the fuse box, and then from the fuse box to the battery. So you don't really want to short this out because the, the casing on the alternators are ground so if that touches air obvious it's gonna go bang with some sparks so let's start off by um, releasing the, the tensioner let's just set the camera up so a little bit of advice remove this air pipe here and they give you more access for the belt tensioner Then undo, just see it off camera, let me just undo this 8 mil here. Lift that over, out of the way for, for a moment, and it just gives you more access to the auxiliary belt tensioner. So let's move the camera down a bit, and see if we can get a better view on it. But this top notch just here, okay, and that's a 15 mil. So I've got 15 mil. From the state of this, it looks like it's buggered. And just push towards the car. That's that should be springing back. But it hasn't sprung back. So I may have to replace this. Let's see if that's enough to move the belt. No. A bit more. And then from under the car, from the driver's side, just slide it off this pulley here, around the AC, and everything else. 
this belt looks like it's in better days to be honest so I'm going to be replacing that it's a V belt and it's got like a whole chunk missing there flat so let's get that finished getting that off of there that tensioner pulley here you've got a hole just here let me, get, let me zoom in oh not that much okay you've got a, a four mil hole there and if you look behind it you can see the alignment pin and what you do is you use a four mil drill bit or something in there but the fact that's holding like that on its own it's helped me out a bit however that probably needs replacing because it shouldn't be doing that so we'll get that replaced at a later date but let's continue to get this alternator out okay so back at the top of the car okay so you're looking for this pulley here which is the decoupler that links to the alternator and it's held in by two 10 mil bolts one just there and one just below which you can get from underneath so i'm going to set the camera up and get these two bolts out Gotta be honest with you, where the camera's sitting is right in the way for me to get to it. So I'm just gonna try and relocate the camera and crack that off a bit more. Okay, so it's cracked loose. I'm gonna use a 10 mil ratchet spanner. Let's see if I can get it undone some more. Sorry if you can't see that too well. Some of these jobs with a camera in your face, and you're trying to catch a best angle. As you can see, that's out. Just I'm doing it with my hand now. And then get the one on the bottom. So there's the bottom bolt just there. Again, it's a 10 mil. And that's another bolt out. So that sneaky third bolt, let's zoom in. It's just there. Right there between the pulley and that pulley. Okay, so the next bit is the decoupler, which is this section just here, and it's held into place by three eight mil bolts. And the best way to get to these is using a short eight mil on an ang on a like an elbow on a long reach extension. Third and final one. And that should be the decoupler part actually separated. So before we undo the two 10mm bolts that old deal on in place, you've got this 13mm cable here to undo. It runs to the battery and the fuse box. And you've also got to undo this cable just here. quite firm this one so I'm going to put the camera down and release it but this tab 
just here you push in and try and pull but with one hand it's difficult and I've got the other hand trying to hold the camera so I'll give it one more shot because you don't want to pull on the wire because you can break it so there we go so you just push in on this tab here and it slides off just tuck that out of the way somewhere undo this with a 13 mil and then just put this cable out of the way somewhere and then that frees up all that's left to do now is under the two 10 mil bolts from underneath and it should drop out now we've got to undo and remove out of the way the AC pump which is held on by three 30 mil bolts which you can see two in your screen here let's see if I can get my hand in to point to them one just over there one just here and there is a third one just there at the bottom first thing you got to do though is undo the wiring harness which is just there in the center of the screen just here and then we'll undo the two top bolts and the bottom one let's crack on and get this out So we're going to crack this one off first. And then go for the two at the top. I'm going to use a 13mm six sided socket for this one. problem here is I'm using the camera screen to see where the bolts are because I've got the camera right in front of me right, I'm going to speed the footage up and just get these done So I've got one out there, I'm going to leave the other top one in and I'll do the one on the bottom Then I'll do that last one Come back in from the top again and then I'm going to get underneath and just slide the air compressor out of the way So what I'm going to do now, the three bolts out, I'm just going to slide this out of the way, I don't know what's holding it in, so I've got a pry bar, just to be careful, okay, don't undo the AC pipes, just tuck it down out of the way. That should do it to be honest. Just need enough wiggle room to get the uh, to get the actual alternator down and out. But I'm going to get something because it's quite heavy. I'm a trolley jack or something just to take the weight off it. Just push it back like that, be fine. So the alternator can come out over here and down. So let me get something, a block of wood or my trolley jack underneath here and I'll get it supported. So I've got the AC compressor resting on the trolley jack like that. And I'm going to do the undo the bolts. So the two 10 mil bolts you're looking for under here is this one just here. 
and that one just at the top there get them undone get the alternator out and let's get the new one put in let's crack on hopefully oh it's raining right so i just tried with a small 10 on a 3 8 and it weren't budging so i've got a half inch so it's got a bit more on it let's try and crack that off and i sprayed it with a bit of penetrant fluid as well so hopefully it should crack off all right that hold it in there so i smacked myself in the head If I get this out first, the decoupler, it's in there quite tight, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a small pry bar to see if I can just slide it out of its place. You right there, Kieran? Okay. That should slide out. Nope, that's in there quite firm. It's out. It is off, I can see, but it's just prizing it out of its holder. It's a bit fiddly. Let's see if that should be loose enough by hand. There we go. Okay, so I'm struggling to get this out with the ratchet it's taking forever so i've got my buzz gun and i'm gonna hope it just buzzes it out should do oh that's doing it up let's flip the switch i believe that's out yeah and that's one out okay so what I've done I've used a, a short 10 mil there with a little extension and I've just managed to crack it off okay so I'm now taking it back out it's very fiddly to get this one okay you could probably take this part of the decoupler off to give you more room to you know get levy on it but it's very difficult so just persevere with it and it will come off but so I've used this like this okay and it's not easy when you're trying to film and the car's only about a foot in the air but I've basically you've got that over there so I, I can't see where I'm putting it at the moment because the camera is, is there and I've just put it on there like that and I've just cracked it off and then so I've loosened it up and then tightened it back up again so at least it's cracked so I'm going to 
put the camera down. This is the first time I've struggled to get a bolt out with the camera in the way. I normally persevere and get it done, but I'm going to crack this out and then I'll bring you back in a second. As you can see, it is nearly out, but it's so tight and fiddly to get at. Maybe if you take this off, it'd help, but I don't. And when you're on the garage floor doing it, it's fiddly as hell. But if you was playing a garage, to do this, they'd have it in, in the air and stood up, not on their back, and charging an arm and a leg. All right, I'm gonna have to put the camera down a second because I think that's nearly out. Okay, so I'll bring you back in a second, guys. Okay, so. I've got both bolts out. It really fiddly doing that top bolt, but you just persevere with it. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just gently prise. Let's put the light on. Not that it's made any difference. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna gently prise it, deordinator out from the bracket here. With the pry bar. See, they're quite tight, and it should. Once I've got it cracked free from the top, I should be able to get back under the car. There we go. Don't know how well that came out on camera, but I'll get back under the car now. And I should be able to wiggle it out from underneath. So I've just got it loose from the top. Now I'm going to use the pry bar on the bottom, and hopefully it'll uh, just come out the way. So let's just crack on. So, we've got the old one out there, you see how difficult that was to get out, it's a pig of a job with the car on the floor, on the axle stands, but it was doable. Take your time with it. Here's the new one, it's going to go back in the same way as this come out, and then hopefully it'll work, it, uh, you know, as you see from the battery voltage. Um, then we're going to put, whilst we've got it off, we're going to put a new uh, V-belt on. And then um, let's just get it back in and get it sorted. So I will capture whatever footage I can of putting it back in and doing everything back up because it was difficult filming it with one pair of hands whilst you're trying to manoeuvre this as well. Um, but I'll get it done. So let's crack on with this and I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Okay, so we've got it back up. It was, as you see from that last clip, it was rather easy to put the new one back in and get the old one out. The bolts were just as fiddly to get back in, but they've done up. It took ages. I've spent 
real time probably a good 20 minutes half hour just trying to tighten them up so like i say if any of you guys know of an easier way of undoing these bolts and doing them back up please post in the comments to let other guys know so i'm going to get the decoupler in now just sits here i've cleaned all the bracket up inside here i've got this all ready to go my friend Kieran has been cleaning the coupler so you know he's got all the crud out the v part of it for the belt so i'm just gonna hand the camera over to him and we're gonna get the decoupler in get the eight mil bolts all done in and um get the ac back in that sits just here and jobs will be done so let's crack on and i'll pass you over to kieran hopefully it'll go up just as easy as it come back out come back out come out turn it and then we can put the bolts back in so you've got the three bolts here one two three and then on the decoupler bits itself that attaches to the alternator you've got the three eight mil bolts and I'll show you that in a second so let's get these bolts back in up here they're 10 mils and uh, that's another job done I think that's all lined up so yeah let's get the bolts Okay, so one thing I have I forgot to mention is you've got to make sure these three holes line up with the three holes on it. So you just spin it around till it all lines up. I've taken that back out. See, that comes out a lot easier now. So just trying to line it all up to make sure it all sits right that looks better then it just slides back in if that's if you want you want that bang was that's just Kieran falling the, the the seat again so you go 110 mil in there yeah not wearing my glasses again Keep your eyes covered with you know, under the car because you only got one set of eyes. And once they fight, oh, I bleeped that. Sorry, once, once, <laughs> oh dear, once they're knackered, they're knackered. You don't get them back again. check them all I'll talk them all up in a minute and I'll put the tool settings in the description that's something I've got to start doing because it helps out and it stops so I ain't got to worry about saying about them I'll just put them in there um, and now it's just the if I come down here and now it's just the 8 mil bolts in the decoupler here. So we'll get them in from the top like I took them out. And just get the belt back on and get the AC pump back up. So let's get to the top of the car. So now we're going to do up the three 8 mil bolts on the decoupler. So all that's left now is to reconnect some of the wiring. So we've got the 180 wire plugs onto there. It's gone click. And you've got a 13 mil here. You've got a new nut that comes with it. So let's take that off of there. If 
if you guys have noticed, I've taken my gloves off because they kept ripping, which is what they're for. However, because it's so warm, I couldn't get any new ones off. Uh, any new ones on, sorry. So I'll just give up wearing them. I'll give my hands a good clean though when I get indoors. All right, let's do that up. Oops. Luckily, I've got the original one that come off it. So we can just do this up by hand just to nip it up. And this is where Kieran, he's on his hands and knees now. Trying to find it. You watch, you'll find it as I do this one up. Then we put the cap back on. Put that back on there. That's on there. That's all connected back up. Right, let's get that AC back into place. So we've got the AC back up. I've cleaned the V grooves out on, on the pulley there. I've got it all plugged back in. So it's all reconnected. I've got the decoupler all back in. All that's left to do now is um, put the belt back on. So I've got a new belt down here. So we'll get this done. But before I do that, I'm going to change the tensioner. Because early on in the video, if you remember, when I put the 50 mil on the top bit up there, it was meant to spring back. So you can, because you meant to put a four mil drill bit in in this hole here. So when you release the tension, you put the four bit four mil drill bit in here into the hole over the back, so it keeps the tent, so it keeps it, so you can get the belt off. However, as you notice, it didn't do that. It stayed over this side with no tension on it. So I've bought a new one of these. I've got it just over here. So we're going to be replacing that. But I want to do that in a quick video on its of its own. So if you want to watch that, I'll put the link up in the cards. And you can watch that. Um, but whilst I've got the belt off, I'm going to crack on and do it. It's a six mil Allen key there. So let me stop filming for this video. Quickly do this one. And then we'll come back and we'll get the belt back on play, in place and um, test it all. So yeah, and the light's just gone off. Let's crack on. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the belt on. Now we're gonna do it is I'll put a diagram up on the screen now for you to have a quick look and you can screen grab it if you want but I'm going to come round the, the um, AC compressor here up around the alternator around the pulley okay and then we're going to come across here up round by the water pump and round the power steering pump over the back here so let's get the belt and get it on there yeah I've, I've gone round the, the alternator down round the AC pump this way round the, the pulley, round the crank, round the tensioner, it goes round the power steering, there, and round the water pump, just there. We're just going to take the tension back off of the here again, for probably about the fifth time. <laughs> um, and then we'll wire it back, get the battery reconnected, and then um, we'll test it. So, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've reconnected the battery. I've got my multimeter all set here. I've got it onto the ground here. Kieran's gonna kindly hold this on here in a second. But we've got 12.2 volts. That should read up in a minute when it starts at around about 14, just over, which would indicate the alternator's all sorted out and it's taken charge again. So Kieran's gonna take the camera while I start it up and he's gonna keep the multimeter, you got it? He's got the multimeter in view okay and he's also going to hold the, the probe on there and I'm going to start it up and we're going to see how this let's try and get the interview on the camera cheers it's because of the sun isn't it if you come around where I'm stood it might we'll, we'll, we'll swap got it yeah 
Right, ready? Oh, good. Yep. So there you go, 14.2 volts. So that tells me the alternator was at fault. So that's another job fixed. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna let the engine run for a moment so it can have a bit of a charge. Put the vessel bit back together, check everything over one more time, and we're good to go. So there it is guys. I've replaced the alternator on the Mark IV Mondeo. Bit of a pick of a job to do, but doable at home. So as always, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And now it's time to crack on with the ST and get this rear subframe sorted out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.